Hi everybody, this is Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to embed an image of your newsletter or any other PDF file that you want to send in an email in your regular email via Gmail, whether it's your KW email or any other Gmail account. So this is different from sending it via eEdge. We're going to be sending it via our regular email. So to say you have a PDF newsletter that you've created somewhere, maybe Canva or through eEdge or through something else, and you've got that in a PDF file and you want to put that in the body of your email email message rather than attach it at the bottom as an attachment. I'm going to show you how to do that pretty easily. First we'll compose a new message and we're going to call this newsletter just for giggles and then we're going to give ourselves some space to work with above this signature here. This is where we're going to put that image once we've converted it. Next we're going to open up a new tab and we'll go to PDF number two jpg.net so that's p is in paul d is in david f is in frank the number two j p is in paul g is in go dot net dot n is in nancy e is in edward t is in tom it's not pdf2jpg.com it's pdf2jpg.net pdf number two jpg.net and then you should see this home page for the PDF converter here. We're going to ignore this entire top section, ignore the convert button, ignore any ads actually that are up here. These are ads. And instead on the left we'll do choose a PDF file. It's a blue button with white text that says choose a PDF file. And we're going to find that maybe in your downloads folder, in my documents, wherever you have it saved on your computer already. We're going to double click that to upload it. And then over on the right you want to choose your quality. You want to leave it at least the minimum of 150 dpi that looks good in most emails but if you want to have a bigger file size maybe for other people to download and print so it would look good once they print it you may want to do 300 dpi if you want to uh, it's not really going to cause any problems on your end it's mostly on the recipient's end where it would have to load a bigger image and it may take longer on their end and they may not want to wait for it to load so i'm going to leave it at 150 dpi which is usually just fine for someone who's viewing it in an email then we'll click our blue convert PDF to JPG button. It's blue with white text underneath that choose a PDF file button. Once the image is finished uploading, the page will refresh and it tells you with the spinning wheel over here that it's being converted. Now we're just going to click on download here and we'll download the entire thing. Now if your newsletter has uh, more than one page here, you would need to either click download for each and every page that's in your newsletter, or you can download the pictures as a zip file. It'll download all the pages at once into a zip file, and then you can extract that and then follow along with the rest of the video. I'm just going to click download since there is just one page in our newsletter here. Now we'll go back over to where we've composed our message and down at the bottom of Gmail there's a little button that says insert photo. It's just to the right of the little triangle here for insert files using Drive and to the left of turn confidential mode on or off and maybe just to the left of the dollar sign here depending on whether you're using regular Gmail. It looks like a couple of mountains here inside the box. That's typically universal for adding an image. So we're going to do insert photo right here and we're going to upload that photo. So if you don't have the upload option, instead you have web address URL and you don't have upload, this is your only option. What you'll need to do is sign out of all Gmail accounts except for this one Gmail and then try this process again. If you're signed into more than one Gmail account, say it's your personal email and your KW email, it's going to give you only the web address URL option. It won't give you upload. So you have to sign out of all accounts and sign back into just one account before you can have the upload tab here. Over here we'll choose photos to upload and we'll upload that JPEG image that we just converted and now that's in line in the message. There's the image right there of our PDF newsletter and then you can add your recipients and send that off to whoever you want to send it to. That's how you can embed a PDF maybe of a newsletter into the body of an email in Gmail whether it's your KW email or any other Gmail account. If you have additional questions about this feel free to send us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com.